Hello and welcome to another message in the Microsoft 365 Message Center update series and today we're going to look at some changes Microsoft is making to the online uh, protection filtering um, system and some changes that they're making for you as a tenant admin. Now what we might find sometimes is uh, email messages coming through the system. We might find sometimes a bad message gets through to our users and sometimes a good message doesn't. So Microsoft applies a very uh, strong set of AI principles to this and they're learning constantly and in my opinion they get it pretty right. Um, I don't get an awful lot of spam anymore but sometimes I do notice that some of those messages get through. So with this update what Microsoft is going to allow uh, ten admins to do is to override the filtering verdict. Okay, so that means that using the uh, tenant allow and block list, uh, tenant admins will be able to set some rules to allow uh, messages to either get through or not. This uh, update is going to be rolling out uh, from late February through March, so we should start seeing this coming into the tenants um, uh, now, so maybe you've got this already or maybe you haven't. You'll see these updates in the Security and Compliance Center. So, uh, as we said, sometimes a good message might be marked as bad, which is known as a false positive, um, and sometimes a uh, good message might be allowed through a false negative. Now, the first step you should always do with this is you should report the situation to Microsoft, because by reporting a, an incorrect um, uh, verdict, then actually you can help them train the AI better. So it is useful to do that. You're not going to give any, away any secret information about yourself, don't worry about it, but it does help to train that AI. So I do highly recommend that people are good citizens and you actually do report it. Okay, uh, so then, uh, as I say here, uh, preferably you should report that via the admin submissions portal. Okay, but if there's still a disagreement after uh, everything that goes on, then tenants need to put in some kind of override, and this is usually in the form of an exchange transport rule. So although exchange transport rules are robust enough to handle most scenarios, it is a complex um, a manual process. So Microsoft is going to add in a uh, tenant allow block list, uh, which the exchange online protection system will use during mail flow to override some of the decisions that are made. Hopefully they'll also take those rules into account that people are setting up and tie that back into the, uh, into the, the, the AI as well. Um, so going forward, they're also going to allow um, the ability to handle URLs, files, senders, recipients, uh, and things like that. So this is something they're expanding even further. We're just starting with messages at the moment. So I think this is going to be a very positive update. Um, I think a lot of tenant admins are going to uh, find value in this, and this is a good one to, um, to go and have, uh, have a look at. So I'm interested to know in the comments below, how are you going to use this system? Uh, do you find you need to create lots of rules, or do you find the AI generally works? So um, let's have a conversation. I'd be very interested to hear your thoughts on the matter. But for now, that's just something for you to be aware of. This is rolling out, like I say, late February to early March. And um, I think that's all we've got to say on it today. So thank you, and I will see you next time.